oftentimes I say on my channel that there are two things when it comes to the PC male in America. One, they know of the level of privilege that they have, which is why when they do certain things, they're flexing. If y'all were around on my channel when I did a series of videos over the summer, mainly in the month of July and partially in August, you saw exactly what I meant. And sprinkled in there was some PC women as well, but especially the men. That's number one. Number two is the Operation Protect the White Boy. And what I mean by that is to piggyback off of that first part is that they know they'll get some level of protection even after they commit the act in which they do. And when you jumbled all of that together, you get the archetype of the, well, of the most dangerous man in America. And this guy right here fits the mold. So we are headed back to Florida again. I swear it's a running gag on this channel at this point where you have this man by the name of Glenn wrestler who quote unquote planned to start a war because he was mad that his driver's license got taken away. You heard that correctly. This man was about to go to war with, I'm assuming the police because he got his driver's license taken away. Now there are a few things as to why your driver's license can get taken away. The most common one is DUIs, DWIs, maybe speeding tickets, parking tickets, any type of traffic infringement that will cause your license to get taken away. It could be some other things, but those are the most common. I'm not sure as to why he got his driver's license taken away, but it most likely fell upon him because that, excuse me, that is a, a singular offense. Like you have no one to blame but yourself when it comes to something like that. But for you to want to go to the to war with the police because of that, that's that's absurd. But as you can see, he has a whole mugshot. He's not laying down somewhere dead. That's only reserved for black men. If a black man dared open his mouth and say he wanted to start a war with the police, oh, it would have been over. Hell, a black man doesn't even have to say something like that and it would be over. But let's see what they're talking about. And this story is coming from WOKV.com. It says, deputies say a Florida man had planned to start a war because he was allegedly angry that he had had his driver's license taken away. According to a news release from the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, deputies arrested Glenn Ressler, age 42, and charged him with four counts of aggravated assault on deputies and a count of violation of domestic violence charge. PCSO said around 3.30 a.m. on Sunday, deputies received a call about Ressler allegedly arming himself to initiate an active shooter situation with deputies, basically a shootout. PCSO said Ressler wanted to start a war after the deputy seized his driver's license and a traffic stop earlier in the day due to it being suspended. So this man was driving around with a suspended driver's license and he knew he shouldn't have been driving around with it, but he was driving around with it anyway. And when he got pulled over, which is probably an infringement that he caused himself to get pulled over. Now he wants to go to war with them. And this is supposed y'all, this is supposed to be the quote unquote master race. According to WJAX, PCSO deputies went to wrestlers house on multiple occasions after the threats were made. When deputies approached the house, an officer who was using night vision saw a wrestler going toward deputies with a tactical vest along with four firearms and ammunition. PCSO said deputies were able to disarm wrestler and take him into custody. Now listen to that. This guy was floating through his home like he was goddamn Rambo or like he was in Call of Duty or Ghost Recon or some other Tom Clancy game and he was still taken in alive. Yet poor Brianna Taylor. Poor a Tatiana Jefferson, poor Ayanna Stanley Jones, poor Botham John, all people who were unarmed and were had their homes pretty much kicked in and were shot and murdered. Yet they walk in gracefully with him and he's coming at them with all the smoke 
and he gets taken in alive. Again, Operation Protect the White Boy in full effect. And they have the nerve to say that PC privilege doesn't exist. They can miss me with that. That's the other thing I forgot to mention. People like him know he has a privilege. That's why he decided to flaunt it. And many of them know that. That's why they do the things that they do, because nine times out of ten, they know they're going to get away with it. And then will hide behind saying that it doesn't exist. As if any other person, well, let's just limit it to black people, as if a black person could dare do something like what this guy just did. And if there are black people that can walk away from this unscathed, it's a very, very, very tiny salt grain size percentage that do. The men and women of the Putnam County Sheriff's Office would like to thank the concerned citizen who alerted us to the situation and to commend our deputies on a job well done. The actions of the citizen, our exceptional emergency communications officers, and our brave deputy sheriffs from Delta Shift West District undoubtedly prevented Wrestler from carrying out his deadly intentions, said PCSO in the news release. No further information has been released. Now, just imagine if he was successful with what he planned on doing. We would my question is would this have even made the news? I tell you, let, that's why I'm so glad I have my subscribers be, to send me stuff like this because if they didn't send me this stuff, a lot of this stuff I would not have known about. And it's crazy cuz I have followers and subscribers who live in the state of Florida and as many stories that I do on that state a lot of them are, are unaware of some of the stuff that comes out of that state. I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of them. Unless it's a major, major story or something that Ron the Snowflake done said, many of them would not know that it occurred. This story goes right into the pile of the other stories that I was doing over the summer, mainly in July and part of August, where you've had PC get into these shootouts from their home or about to initiate a shootout from their home with the cops. Now, whether they a, a shootout actually occurred or not, that's another story. But a lot of them, they did. And some of them were casualties. And guess what? All of the stories have in common. Every last one of the people that was committing the shootouts against the cops got taken in alive. Not one of them lost their life. Not one. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of them was in Florida, too. But I don't remember many of them coming out of Florida. Some of them were some other states. But that's besides the point. The narrative is still very much the same. This guy said he wanted to start a war with the cops because they took his license that he knew was suspended. Isn't that some ain't that some shit? It doesn't surprise me, though, at the end of the day, it really doesn't. And I know those who are listening to the sound of my voice, it doesn't nearly surprise them either.